I'm Kyle Bearfield from All Things Hunting, and I want to introduce to you one of Browning's newest rifles for the 2020 hunting season, the Browning X-Bolt Pro Long Range in the 28 Nosler. I also want to show you their newest ammo from Browning Ammunition, the Long Range Pro 28 Nosler ammo with the 160 grain Sierra Tip Match King. To make it real quick, but go over a few of the features, this is the brand new X-Bolt Pro Long Range. What makes it a little different from the X-Bolt is the way this gun is put together and some of the features on it. Browning considers this gun a semi-custom rifle because of the way that they build it and the features, like I said. But the main thing you notice about this gun and the best feature that I like is Cerakote. It's got a Cerakoted barrel, Cerakoted action, Cerakoted stock. This thing is bulletproof. You know, it's kind of misty raining right here now, Cerakote corrosion resistance is perfect. It also prevents the dings and nicks that I get on my gun seems like every time I go in the woods because we're pretty abusive on one. But just a beautiful rifle and luckily for me this gun shoots even better than it looks. Like I mentioned earlier, Browning considers this gun a semi-custom rifle. When they build this barrel they go through a lapping process on the inside of the barrel that pretty much gives you a seasoned barrel right out of the box. So you don't have to go through that break-in process of cleaning it after every shot in the beginning it's ready to shoot it's got a fluted heavyweight sporter barrel it's got a muzzle brake but the muzzle brake is detachable it's also got a thread protector cap that if you don't want the muzzle brake don't like the blast you know you can take the muzzle brake off and put the thread protector on and just turns it into a normal barrel it comes with a fluted spiral bolt with an enlarged bolt handle detachable magazine that's common through all of the X bolts Browning's thumb bolt release system that allows you to chamber a shell without having to take the safety off. The X-Bolt Pro series of rifles are my favorite rifles that Browning's ever come out with by far and I'm really really excited to shoot this gun. This gun paired with the correct ammunition will shoot sub MOA groups at 100 yards but if you're like me you know you like them touching and that's what Browning's engineers have put together when they design this ammunition to be the perfect balance of velocity you know weight and accuracy you know, for this particular rifle and caliber. If you're not familiar with the Sierra Tip Match King bullet, it is a match grade bullet with a super, super high ballistic coefficient. And if you're not familiar with what ballistic coefficient is, it's a measurement of the bullet that measures how aerodynamic the bullet is. The higher ballistic coefficient, the better. You know, it's, it's why people are loading super, super heavy bullets in these 30 caliber rifles, these 300s and stuff, because they need that heavy, heavy bullet to make that bullet longer so it's more aerodynamic. You know, the 28 Nosler is like the perfect mix of weight and speed that gives you a high ballistic coefficient so that you can shoot really long range, but you still got a really fast rifle to have less trajectory adjustments, you know, when you're hunting. If you were to compare this gun to like a 6.5 Creedmoor, people think that the 6.5 Creedmoor is like the greatest long range cartridge invented, but in a hunting environment and scenario, that is that is not true at all. You know, because you shooting, you know, a 6.5 Creedmoor, yes, will shoot a thousand yards, but there is a tremendous amount of lob in that bullet because it's shooting so much slower, you know, than this rifle. So you have to have a ton of adjustment from your gun that's sighted in at a hundred to hit at a thousand. In a hunting scenario, especially from zero to 500 yards, you want as minimal up and down adjustment, you know, as possible to uh, give you a little less room for error when you're coming to kill a whitetail or, or an elk. That's why this 28 nozzle are special paired with this 160 grain bullet. The seven millimeter bullet is what this 28 nozzle shoots. So it's the same bullet, you know, that comes out of a seven mag. But this gun is shooting 300 feet per second faster at the muzzle then a seven mag shooting the same size bullet. This 160 grain bullet is going 3,200 feet a second. Seven mag shooting 160 grain bullet will be about 2,900 feet a second. This gun at 200 yards, the bullet is still running 2,900 feet a second. So essentially, you're shooting a seven mag, but you just get first 200 yards for free. You know, that's pretty, pretty impressive, especially down range when uh, if you're trying to shoot an elk or, or deer at 800 yards, you know, you're still carrying a whole lot of energy, whole lot of velocity, and you know, not as much trajectory adjustment to hit that deer at that range. You know, some people may say a 160 grain bullet is not big enough to shoot an elk with, but a good rule of thumb when it comes to hunting elk is you need a thousand foot pounds of energy, you know, to make sure you punch through and kill the elk. 
Well, this 160 grain bullet from this Browning ammunition coming out of the 28 Nosler, is still got over a thousand foot pounds of energy at a thousand yards. So out to a thousand yards, no problem killing elk. Just really impressive ammo. It's been designed and engineered to shoot really, really tight groups, super accurate ammo. This high ballistic coefficient bullet is not gonna blow as bad in the wind. And so I'm fixing to shoot it here at the ranch and I can't wait to see what it does on the paper. Well, I sighted it in, I've shot it about seven times now. And the last three were once I got it sighted in. And if I look on the paper, they're right at the bottom of the bullseye and they're just one stacked on top of each other, you know, covering up. It may not even look like three holes are so tight when we get down there and look at it, but just super impressed with this rifle, super impressed with the Browning Long Range Pro ammunition, you know, awesome, awesome stuff. I can't wait to be shooting it at whitetails in a couple months.